Okay, on the front end, um, as you can see here, um, those are all different platforms that we human interact with. Uh, web applications, for example, whatever we use in, in browsers, we can check functionality, usability, and all the rest of the types of testing that we covered in the beginning of this course. And then desktop applications, that's another uh, different world. So if you have a computer, and I assume that you guys have computer, um, you probably have um, even browser itself, right? Browser is a desktop application that will open web applications within. Or for example, Microsoft Office package. So all of those applications are desktop. And there is literally not that much of a difference comparing to web, but they usually kind of uh, download, pre-downloaded first. So the whole application uh, sits on your computer so you don't need uh, internet sometimes. Sometimes you still need it. Uh, but when it comes to different elements and logic, it's pretty much similar to, to web applications. We have buttons, we have like images, text, and so on. Um, and mobile applications, so these are pretty popular these days. Uh, in fact, mobile application traffic now uh, is bigger than web and desktop, I think. I cannot say dying, but it's kind of going away. Um, there is still a lot of um, desktop applications out there. Um, I don't know if you get a chance to work with them. I never had a chance to work with desktop, but I know quite a few people who test desktop applications. Uh, but mobile applications, that's something that we all have. Uh, either it's Android or iOS. Yes, those are different platforms and the applications are completely different even though um, we have Google Maps for iOS and Android. Those two are completely different applications. They have different set of features. They behave differently. And the only common thing is really uh, a name. So when it comes to front end, those are two different applications, but they do share the back end. So that's the beauty of um, front end and back end kind of back end is always the same, but front end you can change. So for example, if you open Google Maps in uh, your web browser on your computer, uh, your front end will be web application, but, but back end will be exactly the same as your iPhone or Android uh, application uses. So you kind of save so front end is um, is a way kind of uh, saving, sorry, back end is a way of saving on the development because you can share it across the platforms. And the only thing that you will need to implement will be front end. Uh, 